talk about the top and the rare command today. Uh, they're just opposite of each other. If you want to see the most frequently occurring item, you use the top command. If you want to grab the least occurring, you, grab, you use the rare command. Uh, we've already seen using the head command to grab the first sets of events, but for statistical analysis, you can use top and rare. So if I go lame training and actually we'll just do this. We're going to go top and I'm going to use the limit command so I can say, hey, I want the top 10 and I'll just put source IP in here. And if I press, I'll see the most frequently occurring source IPs and it'll give me even the percentage already broken down and I'll get the top 10. If I want to see the top seven, I just flip it like this. Uh, sometimes, especially when you're doing uh, anomaly detection and things like that, you'll actually want to find the rare. It's not about the thing that occurs the most. You want to find something that rarely occurs. And so you can flip this and you can go rare. And in my case, it's probably not going to be that great, but I'm going to go grab the, uh, the five least common source IPs. And we can see that there they are. I could flip this to dest IP. Maybe I want to look at the least frequently occurring bytes in. Maybe that catches my interest. And so I can see that these are the least, uh, least frequently occurring uh, bytes in on my network. Anyway, so that is how you can use the top and the rare. And um, if you don't put in a limit, it will do it for you, as we can see here. I'm just going to take the limit out. We're going to go source IP. And when we do that, we get back the top 10. By default, it will always grab you the top 10. Um, so anyway, that is the top and the rare command. You can use that for statistical analysis to figure out what's the most frequently or least frequently occurring field in your network. I hope this helps. If you like it, please uh, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, if you like it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, please uh, do me a favor and uh, keep passing the, the, this information around. Um, I hope this helps you on your journey from becoming a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.